So you want to change your derailleur on your bike, but you're not quite sure how to index your gears, how to set it up properly. Well, I'm going to show you in this video exactly how we do it. Now, this is a Shimano 12-speed Dior XT derailleur, but the techniques and the way that I'm going to set this up is pretty much universal. So we're going to use these videos to set yours up, then this will work as well. So enough waffle, more setting up. I'm finding it hard to believe that I'm actually doing a video on this because as many of you know, I used to get somebody to actually fix my bike, but hey ho, there's always something new to learn when it comes to mountain biking, both on the trails with the skills, but there's also a lot of stuff you can do maintenance and fix yourself rather than taking it to your local bike shop. So let's jump on board and I'll show you how to fix a new derailleur. You need to make sure that the rear hanger is in the correct position. As you can see, it's perfectly vertical here and touches the frame at the bottom. I have actually seen somebody else online where this was twisted because they thought it lined up with there. And it's a mistake I made originally when I first got the bike. But the whole idea of your rear hanger is that if you get a massive impact, this whole thing can twist and it stops your derailleur getting damaged and broken. That's the whole point of this rear hanger. It's designed to take the impact and break rather than breaking your derailleur. So these do get bent and they get out of aligned. The first thing is make sure that you've got that in the correct position for your bike. So this is our new derailleur. And the first thing that we need to be aware of is this little catch here, this little 2F latch. And this is really important because this is what's affected by the B screw, which affects the tension on your actual chain. So before we put this on the bike, we need to make sure that this is in the right position. And I will show you once we get this on the bike. We're gonna be tightening this derailleur onto the frame eight newton meters but I would advise that you check your derailleur in your frame to make sure that that's the correct amount. The first step is we're gonna attach this straight onto the frame. As I mentioned, this little catch actually rests on the end here of the hanger. We're gonna nip this up with an eight mil Allen key and we're just gonna hand tighten this for now, making sure again that that thread is resting on the top of the hanger. There we go, we took that up to eight Newton meters. Once we've talked this up, the next stage is we're gonna put the back wheel on. And make sure you do this finger tight, but not too tight. You'll notice that I've removed the chain. I find it much easier to index my gears and set up the derailleur without the chain on. So leave it in some degreaser overnight. So we'll do the fine adjustments now. Make sure that your shifter is on the lowest gear before we do this. As I pull down the derailleur arm here, I can see that this first jockey wheel is not in horizontal alignment with the smallest tooth here on the cassette. So that's the first thing we're gonna be adjusting with the high screw, which is the top one, and the lower screw, which is the bottom one. So this one adjusts the movement here and limits it, and the top one limits it on the larger tooth. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're visually gonna look from above and adjust this screw until this is in alignment with that bottom cog you might see it is shifting over. So I can shift that over now until it's in vertical alignment with this smaller one here. So these two should be in alignment. They're not too far off. Maybe just a little bit more, like so. And we will be fine adjusting this, but this is how we set it up. So we've got this screw here now, the low limit screw, and we've got that in a very nice alignment. Now we want to check the high limit screw and also Make sure we're in line with the largest spindle on the cassette. So I'm going to bring the derailleur arm down. We're going to push in and we're going to hold on to one of the spokes. Now it's a matter of setting that screw so that these two are in alignment. And I can already see that that is out. So we're just going to adjust it. So now we have our high and our low limit screws set and ready to go. Here on the back of my old derailleur, there's a really important marking on here. I think a lot of people don't realize when they come to set the B-screw. As you can see, it's up here, 51T, and there is a mark across there. That is the marker that we're gonna be using to set the B-screw tension on your chain. And we're gonna line up the biggest cog on the cassette with this marker, and that's how you set the correct tension. And I'll show you that as we get this onto the bike, but do be aware that this is really quite important. And of course here we have the clutch which is on or off, which makes it easier for you to get the actual derailleur 
arm down, up and down, and actually take your chain off. So you always want to make sure that that clutch is on, otherwise you will get chain slap when the chain is not up to the correct tension. Next on the agenda is to put through the shifter cable. And when we put this through here, make sure that this end cap is pushed all the way in nice and solid into this housing. Otherwise, once we attach this, you will start to get problems with indexing. And we also need to be careful that when we attach this, we don't pull this cable too tight. Otherwise, it will start to cause problems with the actual derailleur position and the high and low limiter screw. So that's the first step, is make sure that this housing is in nice and tight in the correct position. Now, we're going to loosen this off. We're going to pass the cable through and round and making sure that it goes under the little housing. It's going to be quite difficult for me to show you here, but there is a little housing here and we're going to make sure that the cable goes underneath. We want to make sure that we don't pull this too tight. We're just going to nip this tight now. Because if you pull this too tight, the tension, it will actually start to change the position of the rear derailleur. So we just want a little bit of tension on there, not too much. I just want to nip this up nice and tight. And there we go. In order to test this properly now, we need to put the chain back on. Easy peasy, I don't think I need to show you how to put your chain on, but just make sure, I've seen a few people make a mistake, including somebody I went for a ride once, make sure that you get the chain the right way around when it comes to the jockey wheels. As I say, I have seen somebody who absolutely destroyed his derailleur because he put his chain on the wrong way around. Once we get it on, I shall show you what the next stage is. We'll start to look at the fine implements then and just fine tuning it. And we'll also sort out that B screw. Now we've put the back wheel on, we've got the chain on and we've thread it through correctly. We need to make sure that we've got the right B tension. We've actually got the clutch off here, so we're gonna put that back on. And we're just gonna run through the gears now and make sure that this all goes smoothly and then we'll do some fine adjustments. This is the B screw here. This is what we're gonna to use to adjust the tension on the chain and also align up the lower cog with the mark on the back of the derailleur that I showed you earlier in the video. So this is quite an important screw and I'll show you the markings on the back and how we line this up now. It is quite hard to see, but as I showed you earlier on the derailleur, there is a mark under here. And we're gonna adjust that B screw until it lines up with the teeth on the largest cog and make sure you have got your chain set to the largest cog on your cassette. And now we have the correct tension on this chain. It's not gonna snap because it's too tight and it's not gonna come off or give you any chain suck if it's too loose. So that's how to check your B screw. There may be a few little adjustments that we need to do just occasionally for indexing, but we can do that on the bars by changing the barrel adjuster. One last quick tighten of this, making sure that it's not gonna move. And of course, we can put an end cap as well onto the wire here. Once you've got the B screw adjusted and everything else is on there and working fine, if there's one or two gears that are just slightly out, make sure that the rear hanger isn't bent, but if it isn't, then we can adjust here at the barrel adjuster. Now, if you imagine you're standing here looking towards it, lefty loosey. Lefty loosey will actually make it slightly tighter and I would recommend maybe one whole revolution Try it again, see if that fixes it. If not, try it the other way. But this is like your kind of fine adjustment. Just don't undo this all the way so that the housing is actually out. It does need to be attached in there. If that doesn't work, then it could be a matter of cable stretch, but that's maybe for another video. I hope that video has been of use to you. If you're wanting to change the Shimano DRXT derailleur, it's not that difficult once you've done it a few times. It's just having that confidence in order to be able to do it. If you're not sure about any part of this video, I will try and list all the sections in the comments box below so you can flick through to a certain part. And if you've got any questions or any suggestions here on the bike of things that I can show you or you're not sure about and wanting to do it yourself, because of course it's cheaper to do it yourself than it is to take it to your local bike shop. And the strange thing is, it feels really good to fix it yourself. Thanks for all the support. I shall see you in another video coming real soon when we'll probably do a little bit more riding than the mechanical stuff. But every now and then, if I can help you, well, I help myself in the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video coming real soon. And boots on the ground, go find it, go ride it. <laughs>